help. Obviously, you're helping grow this game. Uh, where do you see lacrosse in the next 10 years? And how would you help it uh, grow as much as possible? If you had the resources, unlimited resources to do so. Man, it would be an international game. The whole world would be playing it. I think it's going to get there eventually. I really, really do. Uh, you can see more teams were, were jumping into the um, the world games a few years back, right? So I think it's growing. Guys, you have so many awesome ambassadors in this sport right now of all, all ages, even the guys who are behind the scenes doing stuff that are older, that are, that are helping youth that you see coaching and stuff like that. So I think that's going to go a huge, huge way. You have, like I said, the guys who are the face of the game right now, Connor, you being one of them. Um, a lot of these guys, Scott Ratliff going overseas, Gittleman going overseas. You see the guys going over to Japan, Gibson and those guys. I think this game is going to grow. You get a chance to play with guys like Drew Snyder, uh, you know, Chris O'Darty over in Seattle doing stuff over there. Um, that's growing in the, in the top west corner of, of the country. You got guys like Bach and, and Brent Adams, those guys out in, in Colorado. And I'm sure I'm missing a ton of names here, but there's so many guys around the country that are work in different pockets. And I think as it, it fully expands, Eric Law doing, you know, working with, with, um, with City Lax over in Denver too, right? Bringing the game to the inner city and building more guys who maybe are less fortunate, giving them a shot to actually get a chance to play. It's California, there's so many guys out there doing that. So I think at, and I, I lived in Florida for a bit and I was coaching lacrosse down there. I felt like I you know, even when I was down there for a year, I wanted to make an impact to help those guys that I was working with. And to this day, those guys still text me, hey, coach, thank you, man, and who are playing in college now. So I think the little things that you can do go a long, long way with this sport. I think we're going to grow it, man. I think that, you know, it incorporates so many different types of sports. So you can, and you don't have to be, you could be a small guy, you could be a big guy, you could be a large guy, you could be a muscular guy, any shape or size, there's a spot for you on the lacrosse field and you can make it work. So I think that's what, what is really, really, really exciting about it, that you can get some guys who may have never even seen the sport. As we grow it, it just, it just needs the exposure. So as we go to these spots that maybe have never seen the cross, guys are starting to pick it up. You're hearing more guys getting recruited out of the Midwest, um, all this type of stuff. And uh, I think eventually, man, I, I really, really do think it'll become an international game. Um, it, it's got it all there. So... We'll take it one step at a time, but I think it's in the right direction.